we are in Georgetown. Did you know that back in 2016, Lonely Planet considered this city as third best travel destination? Yes, and I can understand why. My first impression about the city, I love it. Georgetown is known for three main things. Outstanding street art, beautiful colonial architecture, and amazing food. Keep in mind that this place is quite touristic, so there are always many people here. Well, nobody can blame them because this place is incredible. Right now there is nobody, so we can take as many photos as we want. Here's a tripod, Magda, and we are going to make some cool photo. Oh, well, I said, guys, there's a huge line sometimes. And it's just two minutes after we made the photo. Okay, Magda, so tell us where we are going right now. Hair dresser after a few months. So, show us your hair. In the city you will find many really nice cafes, just like this one. Which is really good because outside it's super hot. Once in town, make sure to come to Armenian Street. This is where we are right now and it's one of the most colorful streets in the whole city. You will find here many stores selling souvenirs or some clothing but it's not like the cheesy type of souvenirs or clothing no it's very artistic and i like them a lot Today we are visiting Penang National Park. From our hostel we took a bus, just one bus. It was 23 kilometers and it was more than one and a half hours. I was dying on the bus. The traffic jams are huge here even though it's Saturday morning. All right, so in the National Park there are two main hiking trails and one of them is temporarily closed. since 2017. This is a very nice hike. It's not too difficult. Actually, it's very easy, I would say. You are walking among the trees, so you don't feel the heat. Out there, there's like 35 degrees, I think. But here, it's not that bad. I just wish it wasn't that humid because I'm sweating like... I'm sweating a lot. You can reach this beach also by boat. It's 50 ridges one way, so altogether it's 100. But I think it's kind of missing a point. 
you will pay 100 rigids just to reach this beach which is all right nothing spectacular and you cannot swim here there is a huge sign that you cannot swim because there are like jellyfishes there are poisonous that there are huge waves so basically it's forbidden to swim and you are paying 100 rigids just to see this and for me the best part was the hike itself We are almost back at the gate and there are some monkeys on the way. We just saw one girl being attacked by one of them because she was carrying a coconut. And let me say just this, she doesn't have the coconut anymore. Now it's okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, please. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. We just entered the restaurant. And the waiter, he didn't ask anything, he just asked, you want to eat? And we said yes. So he brings all of it and also the sauces. So it's kind of IKEA style, do it yourself. This is the place where we just ate. So for both of us, we paid $17.50, which is a bit more than four US dollars for two people. And that included two waters and unlimited rice. So we are full right now and we paid just four dollars, like two dollars each. I love this city. Every Sunday morning there is a local market with handmade stuff. We are here right now and the stuff here is really nice. It's the market itself it's not very big. But all the things that they are selling is very well done and it's very beautiful actually. We are not buying anything because we don't have room in our backpacks and we are still planning to travel for a while so we cannot just simply put as much as we want. At first we said that it's very small so we're gonna check out and probably stay here for like 10 minutes but we ended up being here for 3 hours because the atmosphere here is very relaxing so we bought ourselves a coffee and we we're just chilling here. I really like this place.